cancer has been around since humanity began. Its earliest records date back to circa 1600 BC to an ancient Egyptian script called the Edwin Smith Papyrus that wrote about breast cancer. In today's video we look at cancer, what it is, how it happens and whether it can be cured. Cancer is a word given to a group of diseases involving abnormal cellular growth that can potentially spread and threaten other tissues. But before we look at what causes cancer, we must first understand what it means. Cancer is the antisocial behaviour of your own body's cells that typically happens when various genetic abnormalities accumulate in its DNA. Cells contain a gene specifically meant to prevent cancer occurring. It's known as a tumour suppressor gene. Its job is to stop the cell from growing out of control and restrict its activity. Cells also contain what are known as proto-oncogenes, which do the exact opposite when activated into oncogenes. How and when these genes are switched on and off determines the cell's growth, and ultimately whether you get cancer. There are also many other factors which link to this, as cancer is incredibly complicated. DNA and genes are relatively fragile. They're susceptible to damage and mutation. A small mutation in the right place can interfere with genes. If the tumour suppressor gene is deactivated, for example, this can cause problems. What's more, if the oncogenes are activated, cells can become antisocial, ignoring the body's tissue growth regulation mechanisms and begin to proliferate uncontrollably. When this happens, it usually forms a tumour. This structure then continues to grow and mutate, since many regulatory genes and their promoters have been damaged or changed. The tumour is now even more vulnerable to mutation. This can then deactivate DNA repair genes, causing further problems and susceptibility. If the tumour becomes malignant, that's to say it's likely to spread, it can cause damage to surrounding tissues and move around the body. So what causes cancer? We now know that DNA mutation is essentially the key. So what causes mutations? The common risk factors include smoking, drinking and poor diet, as these activities can introduce harmful cancer-causing chemicals into the body, known as carcinogens. These can affect the genes inside a cell and change them. Another method is through infection. As we have already explored in our videos, viruses carry their own genetic information which they bring into cells, altering the cell's genes. Although it takes many of these mutations to happen together to cause cancer, the disease still affects one in three people on average in society. So, can we cure cancer? The answer is most of the time. We already have lots and lots of treatments and compounds to do the job. The problem is that because cancer isn't a typical illness, that's to say, it's actually your own body malfunctioning, it's difficult to pinpoint one universal medicine. Each person is different, they have different genes, different environmental influences and habits. This means that lung cancer in one person can be radically different to lung cancer in another. It just isn't the same as two people with tuberculosis or meningitis. There are many ways doctors take to help slow and stop the progress of cancer, such as preventing the supply of blood, surgical removal and even purposely changing DNA in our immune system to help them fight the cancer more effectively. As technology and medicine progress, we are seeing a fall in the mortality rates across the world. There is more hope today for cancer patients than ever before. However, we still have a long way to go. Cancer accounted for almost 14.6% of all human deaths in 2012. Our advice would be to stop smoking, drink responsibly and eat a healthy and well-balanced diet but also to enjoy life and loved ones, even the mother-in-law. <laughs>